Okay, sorry if the refrigerator is loud. I wanted to film this in my kitchen so that I wasn't in my room filming a grocery haul because that's a little weird. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. And I went to Sprouts and to Aldi. Yeah, sorry if I seem a little off slash a little quiet in this video. It's because people are in the house and it's kind of awkward. But I got a bunch of stuff and I'm so excited because I have my own shelf in the pantry now, which is a big step. I went to the bulk section in Sprouts, finally, and I'm so excited because I got so many things in bulk and it was so cheap, so yeah. I'll try and tell you where things are from. I am gonna do it in an order because I had everything separated because I took the thumbnail like two hours ago, right when I got everything. I'm gonna start with grains, grain-ish things. First I got corn tortillas and I actually got these from Aldi. This was a lot cheaper than Sprouts. It was like six tortillas for like five dollars. So I was like, no thank you. And this is 30 for like a dollar and 50 or something like that. I like the corn tortillas just to make tortilla chips, but I did also get some tortilla chips. They do run out pretty fast. So the first chips that I got from the first time that I went to Aldi, I got these chips and my dad actually really likes these. So now I just get these for him because I don't really eat them. They are really good, but I found some other ones that I like better and these are blue corn tortilla chips and they're gluten free. I like whenever the ingredients are just the corn and then maybe an oil, like it's fine. And then salt. So like that's all this is. And these are like a dollar fifty too. So. I actually got the yellow ones too. I don't know if there's like a difference if like blue corn is better for you. And then I also got bread from Aldi because I always get this bread and I always get it from Aldi and it's just 100% whole wheat, whole grains. Bread. I also don't eat bread that often. That's why it takes me like three weeks to go through a loaf. The only time I really eat bread is with avocado and toast. But what I feel like might replace that, I feel like avocado would taste really good on this. And these are Lundberg Thin Stackers. I got a five grain and then just like a brown rice. I felt like the brown rice one was like super simple to where I could put like anything on it. And then these ones are pretty much plain too. I tried these and had these in hummus and it very good. Normally you only get like 10 rice cakes whenever you get them and they're really big, but these are like squared and they're in like packets of six. The only thing I don't like about it is it's a lot of plastic. They won't get stale too fast. I like how there's literally 24 in here and not just like 10. All that's in here is organic brown rice sea salt and then in this one it is organic brown rice, organic popcorn, organic quinoa, organic milk, and organic flaxseed. That's why I wanted this one because it has like all the stuff in it. Those are pretty much the only like grains I have except for the bulk stuff so I guess I'll go into that now. So I have my own jars and I bought the lids to go with them and then I just labeled them on top. They put the weight on them because that's what they do but he went ahead and wrote it on here because now it's just like on here for future reference. This is actually the tri-color organic quinoa because the organic quinoa was like three dollars cheaper than just regular quinoa. I don't really know why but I would bring out my receipt but I'm pretty sure this was like six dollars for all this quinoa which is pretty good because a bag with like half of this was like five at Aldi. Plus the big thing for me is that you aren't using packaging and I have my banana chips in one and I did get the organic ones of these just because the non-organic ones have like banana flavoring to them and I'm like what is the point? So these were more expensive but this was like $1.50 for this much plus no packaging. And I know I'm saying no packaging but obviously this is glass but glass is easily recycled and these actually can be recycled too but I'm obviously going to use these over and over and over and over and over and over for the rest of my life. <laughs> And I just got some long grain brown rice because I've always used long grain and I always use brown because white rice just makes me feel disgusting. I always either have quinoa or brown rice cooked because it's a good thing to layer all your leftovers with. And then I also got black beans because I realized how cheap these were. I think it was like $1.50 for all of these black beans. And normally like a can of black beans that last you like one or two meals is 99 cents. I'm pretty sure these will expand a lot cheaper to buy them like this and you also are guaranteed that you don't have any of those like additives in the can and you also aren't wasting a can though. I've never had pumpkin seeds before so I just filled up half just in case I don't like them but I'm planning on putting this in granola. I should like them. I just got the organic super raw ones with no salt and then I also found this smaller jar in our cabinet and that's what you do. I don't feel like you need to like go out and buy jars like this. I just needed more jars and I needed bigger ones because of a lot of the jars that we have are like this tiny 
sort of thing but that's good for these things that you don't need a lot of so i got some brown flax seeds because since i am eating healthier i've realized a lot of recipes call for flax seeds or ground flax seeds or a flax egg or things like that so going along with that stuff in like the grocery aisle i'll do like produce and stuff last i do plan on making my own almond butter i think peanut butter will be my next thing that i want to do oh this is so liquidy i hope it's because it's like hot not because it's like supposed to be like this the big thing for me was just to get a peanut butter with just peanuts or maybe peanuts and salt this was the only one that i could find with just peanuts and it was unsalted and unsweetened i would rather have a glass jar but once again this was two dollars for this peanut butter so i wasn't about to pay like six dollars for one with a glass jar i'm sorry first whenever i went to sprouts i got these because i didn't know if aldi would have chipotle peppers in adobo sauce and i need this sauce for a sauce i'm making for a pasta and they had them at aldi so i just went ahead and get us got a second one because this was 99 cents this was a dollar nine nine so i'd say good with all day lara bars were on sale for a dollar so i got a bunch of different flavors so i can try them out i want to try and make lara bars so i wanted to like taste them and see how they taste so i can recreate them and see if they taste good the only one i've had is almond butter chocolate chip i got blueberry muffin chocolate chip brownie peanut butter chocolate chip banana chocolate chip because i thought i could recreate this with my dried bananas and apple pie one dollar is kind of expensive for bars but since these are like complete nature bars i literally love how it's like only six ingredients, only four ingredients, only two ingredients, whatever it is. And then I got some brown coconut sugar. I thought they had it in the bulk section, so I had like a jar ready. And by the way, these jars are at Dollar Tree, or at least at mine. I never knew they had like nice mason jar type things like this. Um, so I definitely would get more if I needed them because this is like a full on jar. It said online that they had it in the bulk section, but they did not decide to buy it in a bag. Come on, Sprouts. Then I got dates because they are a staple in eating healthy sweets and also to Lara bar recipes. And then I have two more things before I get the produce. So I got this Moser Roth dark 85% cocoa. There is a lot more ingredients than just cacao like in my enjoy life chocolate chips but this was like a dollar and it comes with a, like five of these little packs but it's super dark. And the last thing is 100% pure maple syrup. I'm super excited to see this at Aldi because I forgot about it at first at Sprouts but I remember looking like at sprouts website and all of them were like over 12 dollars this was six so yeah i'm super excited about this i knew that breakfast syrup that most people eat like aunt jamama's wasn't maple syrup but i thought that it at least had maple syrup in it but it's just not it's all sugar and nastiness we have got some pure maple syrup that is also used in a lot of recipes and then now to the produce first i got strawberries because i love strawberries so much and i always wash them pat them dry and put them in this container because i feel like this keeps them fresher longer and then i got some grapes at aldi i hate that i had to get a bag of apples but they didn't have that many apples at aldi and they were really expensive for what they were so i got a bag for like the price of like two apples and then i got bananas because i go through bananas real fast for the veggies i got a red pepper because i always need red pepper because i love red pepper and then two cucumbers because once again love cucumbers and then i also got sweet potatoes because i really want to cube them and roast them that's it i also forgot to mention this hummus i really want to make my own hummus but i've only ever found one hummus that i like and it's the Publix brand classic hummus but this was at aldi and it's the aldi brand classic hummus it's really good as you can see i have already eaten some of it with some carrots so that's all i got i'm pretty sure i went through everything so yeah i'm really excited to make all my recipes with this this obviously isn't going to be something that i buy weekly i just stocked up with the things that i'm gonna need if i'm gonna live this lifestyle the things that i really buy every week are the produce things it's not really anything else because that's the only thing that i go through really fast so yeah i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me thank you so much for watching bye